Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I want to make a car for absolute beginners. So let's get cracking. Friends, the first step is to visit Tinkercad. If you type in Tinkercad at Google, it'll take you there, and I like to choose Login. When you choose login, you want to choose personal account, choose sign in with Google, you'll be in in no time. If you get to learning the moves, I'd like you to hit the little X to cancel it. If you do make it here, just click on this to go back to the main screen, and then we want to choose create new design. The very first thing we're going to do is name it. I'm going to call it car, and I'm going to put MDH, and I'm going to put 2022 because I've made a few of these over the years. Now we're going to start by bringing out a cube. You click, set it down. There are black handles and white handles. White handles do two at a time. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do undo, which is also control Z. I want to use the little black handle so it only goes one direction. And I want to make it 80 and press enter. So you notice I stretched it. It shows me the number. And then I can change it to 50 for the other number. So we have got the base of our car and it's going to be 80 by 50. When we go up, there is only a white handle. I'm going to tell you that I want you to click on that handle and change it to 30. So this is the base of our car. I want it to be rounded, so we're going to type a 2 out here. Now your car has got a nice round shape and now we're going to cut in a place for the seats. We're going to do that with another cube. Grab its black handle and I want you to type 55. And then I want you to take its width, so we're going to stretch it this way, and we're going to make it 35. We're going to select both of these, so I'm drawing a box that touches them both. We're going to use an awesome tool called the line. When you click it, it wants to know which one is the boss. I'm going to make the red one the boss, and I want this dot. Make sure you put the arrow on the dot. That's how you select it. Notice it's in the exact middle. And then so this makes more sense. I'm going to click the view cube, and you can see this is the middle in this direction. And then I need it to come to the top. I wanted it to be smaller than everything else I did. Now I'm going to select those two items again, and let's group them. And we've just cut out a place for the people to sit in our fun little car. Friends, let's have a little bit of fun editing this car. If you double click on the red one, notice you get this little pink border. And now I can take my front end. Remember how this was 80? Let's stretch it out and change it to 100. Once we click outside, it closes it. And now we've got more of a front end and we've still got the spot where everybody gets to sit. So once again, if you double click, you can edit your groups. You click out here to cancel them out. Remember the size we changed that to was 100. Now friends, we're gonna add spots for the wheels. I want you to bring out the round roof and I want you to make it a hole. I want you to grab this front corner and I want you to hold shift and instead of 20, I want it to be 25. Notice because we held shift with one hand and we drug the handle, it makes them both 25 and it makes this half of 25. We're gonna select those two and click a line, make the red one the boss, take it all the way to the front and then before we cut it in, we're going to change how far in it goes. Instead of 25, I only want it to go in 10. Now we're going to align it again, and we're going to make the red one the boss, and we're going to stick it inside there. We're going to nudge it back, but we're going to use a super cool trick to nudge it to the exact spot we want. By switching snap grid to 5, we can do one click, and it nudges back. I'm going to do two clicks, and it'll be back 10. I'm going to do control D, and I'm going to just nudge this one to the back. Notice if you look at it closely, I went past. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them both, click a line, make the red one the boss, look at it from a corner so it's super clear. That's what I wanted to click. Now I can click just on the hole, and then I'm going to use that arrow key to nudge it along the screen. Notice if you do the wrong one, just nudge it back. If you have to back up and realign, just get it so eventually you're happy with those two. And then I'm going to click Shift and select both of them. So I was holding shift with this hand and I was clicking on that side. Now when I do control D or duplicate, I can move them across. If we look over at the other side, I was using the arrow key to nudge them. Now they're way over there and then I can just nudge them back and stick them in. Friends, when you've got them lined up like that, I want you to select them and group them. Friends, if you look in the back here, I cut in just a little bit. We are going to fix that by clicking on our entire project and doing ungroup and ungroup. And we're going to raise it up just a little bit. Let's switch back to our one millimeter nudge. Click just on that part and do control up one, two. 
and now let's group the entire project again so I selected all six shapes and we hit group it's a little bit less but watch this because it's all at the same time now we can double click click on that part and do control up one more time click somewhere else and boom the body of our car is built friends let's quickly add a couple of headlights I want you to click on the work plane and put it on the front of your car the work plane is where the next part is going to drop bring out a cylinder and drop it on there this is going to be your headlight once again hold shift stretch it to crazyville but then I want you to type 7 for the size of that headlight that's a decent size I'm going to show you how to pick the color of your headlight and then instead of having it be seven millimeters thick we only want it to be two millimeters thick so we click that little box type two and press enter that is one headlight we're going to make two though by doing control D or duplicate we're going to move it across and then you want these to be lined up perfect watch this trick shift to select the two group them and then if we select everything choose a line we want them to be in the middle just like that then you can click on them and use your arrow keys to move them up or down where you want I'm gonna look at the world from a corner and then I want to put the work plane back down on the ground I showed you the corner because it's easier to find that blue edge when you've got it like that if you want to adjust it afterwards you can use control up to raise it up one more click if you wanted to spread them out more watch this double click click on one and I'm gonna nudge it a click this way and I'm gonna nudge the other one the same number of clicks that way so you can adjust it after you're done if you want to make it look different let's put a fancy grill out here I'm gonna do work plane on this again this time I'm gonna use a cylinder that I stretch wide you can pick how wide you want to make it but we're gonna make it a hole I am gonna align it so I'm gonna select the two and I'm gonna put it in the middle I want to make sure it's small enough so I'm using the black handles to shrink it underneath and I'm going to do down arrow to get it in the spot I want and notice it's huge I'm just going to do control down arrow to sink it in two clicks you can adjust that if you want and then I'm going to group it I'm going to actually have a little fun with this I'm going to put a logo down in this spot so I'm hitting inside what I just cut bring out the text and I had cousins that worked for Ford so I'm gonna put Ford here I'm gonna make it blue and then friends I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna shrink it with the blue handles or with the square handles until it sits right where I want don't forget to align it you click align make the red one the boss and boom it's in the middle now I'm gonna use my arrow keys to nudge it to the exact spot I want one other cool bonus if you hold alt and shift you can stretch it around its middle as you get it to the exact size you want that's a little bit pudgy so I'm gonna push it back and there is my cute little funky Ford friends let's put the work plane back down on the ground and it's time to get our bucket seats now if you haven't made these bucket seats you'll need to follow the code box lesson once again it was in the cards up above if you go to your creations it should be in the list you may have to hit more shapes I have created a ton of these so I'm gonna have to hit more a bunch to get down to where my awesome bucket seat is there it is notice it's black and red so it's gonna fit perfect I'm gonna click in the bottom of my car and now I can drop in my cute little bucket seat it's too large so I'm gonna hold down shift and shrink it till it's the size I want and then I need to rotate it 90 degrees I'm gonna just type 90 and that's cool you could have used the rotation handle let me show you how those work when you rotate if you stay inside that blue circle it goes 22 and a half degrees at a time if you come outside it goes one degree at a time if you ever don't like what you did you can just type the number you wanted so I really wanted zero there or 90 earlier I'm gonna use my arrow keys to nudge it in place and do control D so there's two and let's pretend we want to have people in the back so I'm gonna click back on the first one and do control D and are you ready for this we can take that cute little seat and make it a bench seat by grabbing the black handle and stretching it across to make sure they're aligned perfect you can do shift to select these two seats and make them a group and then we can select those two shapes and do a line so that they stay in the center mine were pretty close but that way they're perfect friends let's add a fun windshield we're gonna put the work plane on the top of our car we will return to our basic shapes 
and I want you to just bring out the wedge. It needs to be rotated 90 degrees. Remember, we can click that handle. I'm gonna recommend typing 90. It's aimed the wrong way, so I'm gonna show you the mirror command. Friends, this is so cool. When you click that arrow, boom, it aims the way we want. I'm gonna move it to the left. I'm gonna stretch it across. I'm gonna get it so I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm using a size nine. I'm using a height of 20. And I'm using a width of 45. I'm going to grab those two pieces, click a line. Let's make the red one the boss and make sure we hit that middle. Don't forget, if you switch to this, it's a lot easier to see those little corners. Now we want to be able to see through this. We're going to do that by this fun transparent button. Now it looks like a piece of glass for our sweet little convertible ride. Friends, we're going to go to a special spot to get some parts in the back. I want you to go down to the shape generators. We've still got the work plane up here, and we're going to switch to all. And I want you to do more shapes and more shapes and more shapes. And we're going to find this amazing one called the Swept NASA. Now, if you see anything you think is cool, you should put these on what's called your favorites. It makes them a lot easier to get to later. And as you can see, you do have to wait for these to show up. So after a ton of clicks, I found the Swept NASA. And I'm clicking the little yellow star so it's a favorite. Make sure your work plane is still on top of your car. I'm going to do mine again just in case. And we're going to put this in the back because it looks pretty darn cool with that little guy in place. Let's make sure we align it. So I'm going to select those two, click align. And I want to make sure it's the car that's the boss. And I want it on the edge. And I want it to the top. Now I'm going to do control down arrow to sink it in a couple clicks. I think that looks pretty darn awesome. I'm going to go one click to the right. And now I'm going to do control D. And I'm going to move the other one to the other side. If you do shift nudge, it goes ten times as far as fast. Once again, I'm going to grab those two pieces and choose a line. Pick the big red one and I want to go to the outside edge. And remember we went one, two clicks in to make our awesome fins. Friends, this next one's fun, but a little tricky. Let's put our work plane on the flat part of our car, and we're gonna make what's called a spoiler. We're gonna go back to the featured shape generator. So make sure you're on shape generators and featured, and bring out this dude called the extrusion. We wanna take these handles and just push them straight ahead and straight back. So notice they are still in a line. These two are across from each other. We're gonna take this one, down into the back and we're gonna make this one a little skinnier also to the back friends that is a cool spoiler that we can now use our arrow keys and move back and put on top of our awesome vehicle I'm gonna do push with this cone to get it to the right spot notice it doesn't go all the way across so I'm gonna stretch it all the way across and then I'm going to just use this white handle to bring it, bring it back. That's pretty fun, but it's kind of pudgy. So we can just make it skinnier, and then we can nudge it up to the exact right spot. I'm also not happy with how far out it extends, so I'm going to just make it a little bit skinnier. That, I think, is pretty darn cool. I'm going to pick my color. I'm going to go with a blue one. And that is pretty darn fun. Remember, friends, you can mess with these handles as much as you want. It is an easy way to adjust and make your stuff unbelievably cool and custom. When you're happy, make sure you group them so they stay in place. If you want multiple colors, so I lost my fancy color, you can click on the shape and you can turn on multicolor just like that. Friends, it's time to put on wheels. Let's drop the work plane to the ground. Friends, I want to raise it up 10. The coolest way is to just use this handle, stretch it to Crazyville, and then type the number 10 right here. So it was the cone that lets you lift it. We're going to put on wheels. I'm going to tell you W is for work plane. We are going to another fun place, vehicles and machines. Friends, when you bring out the wheels, I'm going to tell you these flat ones are a little more fun to work with than this one. When you bring it out, that flat one should line up right where you want. I'm going to tell you to hit F to fit view so you can zoom in, hold down shift, and shrink it till it fits in the hole. Mine's going to fit with looks like 23. I might actually hold down shift and shrink it to 22. 
to attach that wheel. Once you've got one wheel, do Control D and use your arrow keys to nudge it back. I'm gonna take those two wheels, so watch how I'm selecting underneath, and I'm gonna do Control D. Let's look at it from the other corner. And I'm gonna just use those arrow keys to move it across. Let's put the work plane back on the ground first. And here are my wheels coming across. Now these look the same from both sides, but if you wanted to mirror them, don't forget all you have to do is click that and click that arrow. Now the easiest way to drop them into the place is to click on the work plane, click on that part underneath and hit D to drop. Notice they are straight across from you and your vehicle is awesome. Friends, we're gonna put the work plane on the ground and I got one last gift for you. Let's add some cool flames with the scribble. Go back to your basic shapes, click on scribble, and then you can just draw any kind of flame you think is cool. It doesn't have to be good, it can just be fun. You're gonna take more time on this. I'm gonna switch to the fill in and let's grab everything we just did. Notice I missed a chunk, you just do it twice. You can also use the hole and this lets you cut in sharper. So I'm just creating little slivers in my flame. And if you don't like this, you can come back to it, but watch this. If you make this nice and skinny, so I'm gonna type point two, and I'm gonna make it a cool yellow, boom. All of a sudden, I've got flames on the side of my car. Of course, if you do it on one, I'm gonna do control D. I'm gonna put my work plane on this side, and I'm gonna drop it to that side as well. Boom, all of a sudden, a fun car with flames work plane on the ground, and friends, that's how you make a car in Tinkercad. Friends, remember, if you're in my class, I've gotta have a screenshot of this. The way I always want you to do it is with the snipping tool. You can always type SN, and then you can click on your snipping tool. If you haven't pinned it to your taskbar, please do. When you launch it, simply hit new, grab the most awesome picture make sure you got a great angle and hit save and then when you save it make sure you always choose your downloads and give it a name mine of course is car mdh and as you can see i've done it more than once so we'll call this car mdh5 friends have fun with this add more things explore all the features add people make sure you check the creatures characters hardware you can add things in the back like a license plate tail lights you can have a steering wheel you can have gas pedals you can have a console there's no limit to what you can build and if you do make something you're proud of don't forget you can click on this button right here generate a link copy that link and then you can reach out and share with me i am hl mod tech on facebook instagram and gmail you can also track me down on twitter i am hl tinkercad if you don't have those options available don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com it is my website with a ton of amazing tinkercad stuff and also at the bottom a sweet built-in messaging tool you can click that button add your information and reach out to me almost instantly Finally, friends, I hope you had fun and learned a ton while you were working on this lesson. And of course, if you did, please give the video a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.